Hey guys, how's it going? I'm at Bristol Motor Speedway. And I don't typically run street stocks anymore because the setup bottoms out so badly. And it even bottoms out here at Bristol, which is ridiculous. But it only does it a little in the early lap. Probably the first lap. You know, noticed. Well, we got a good field here. 19 cars. I'm number 11. I'm ready to qualify. See what I can lay down. A little slick in one, just a little bit, it's beginning to slick up. The rest of the track is really tacky. Might be a good idea just to crack the bottle right here a little. Get the car to set, keep it from slipping in one. Lost some momentum back there. Okay, we'll just have to experiment and play around with the line. I don't run these that much. Since they're at Bristol this week, I might put in a couple of races. We'll see what happens. Could get very ugly very quickly. When you look at this car from the outside, it looks like you're going a lot faster than it feels like you're going when you're inside. If that makes sense. Okay, I qualified third. Jewel Wolf is on the pole. Richard Caro will take the pole for the second heat. I get the start. On the outside in the first heat. Let's just get on the track and get going. Do a wolf on the pole and I'm on the outside. Justin Turnbaugh. Daniel Stifler. Familiar names. Aaron White. And Matthew Lever back in the third row. There's no couple of them are familiar. The There's Steven back there. Right and good luck. Derek Daly, Jessup Schley, Schleichel, I don't know, and Chris Troutman. Here we are at Bristol in the dirt street stock machine. About to go green, stay focused. Here we go, here we go. Fun, fun, fun. I'm going to try starting in second. The pace car is in. I think third might have been a little better. Not loving turn one and two, but I do love turns three and four.
White flag is out. Here we go. Ah, a little sideways. Don't care much for it. Jeremy Akins, Richard Cairo. I, these names are all familiar. No, no, they're not all. Akins and Cairo, or Caro, or Caro. Josh Schrock's back here. Anyway, let me run them down. Richard Cairo and Jeremy Akins on the pole. We have Chris Beavers and Max Rooney in the second row. Third row, Jamie Creighton, Blake Bailey, Josh Schrantz in the fourth row, alongside Jason Ferguson. And in the shotgun position, Mr. Conrad Sampson Jr. in the 10 car. Good luck, everyone. Richard Cairo, car number three, is on the pole, and he'll green, green, green. lead him to the green as we lag behind. Behind once again. Now live, Cairo pulls away to a lead. Here comes the 12 car. On the inside, he's got a good run, Chris Beavers. But Aikens on the outside is holding on strong. Come on, Jeremy. I'm going to look real quick and try to see where my buddy finished in the first heat. Steven was seventh. Back to this heat. It's Cairo. It's Aikens. It's Akins, it's Cairo. Richard Cairo leads the way, coming to the halfway point. Jeremy Akins in second. Back here is Chris Beavers in car number 12. Max Rooney in number seven. Max gets a slide going, but it's no good. Way too late. Blake Bailey back here in car number four. Right now, what we're looking at is six going to the feature out of each of these heats, and we had 19 entries, so we will have a consolation unless a lot of people drop out. Blake Bailey looks like he might be in for a consolation race. No, he's in fifth. Excuse me. The last car... At this point, that would be advancing to the feature directly from the heat is the Haribo car number 10 for Conrad Sampson Jr. Jason Ferguson in 16 is out in the cold as we now work the final lap. These guys will have to try from the and this guy has had a crash. These guys will have to try from the consolation race. The last chance race coming up next. Richard Cairo got the win. Jeremy Aiken second, Max Rooney third. Nine cars already in the wall. Looks like Jamie Creighton is struggling a bit in that nine car. Hang in there, Jamie. It will get better.
Now we're looking at, looks like the 14 and the 19. Well, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Jessup. That's a good one. I like it. We've got a race going on up here for second between the 6 and the 16. Derek Daly and Jason Ferguson. Derek has the preferred line, but it's slick down there now. Time to move up, guys. But he's trying to pass, and he's got no other place, no viable other viable line on which to pass. That line is probably not bad in three and four, not too bad, but in one and two, it's going to... You're going to have to chase the rear end a little bit when you get through one and two if you're on the bottom. Even is has got this race well in hand as we come to halfway. Keep going, Steven, you got it. Derek Daly has pulled up into second. In that number six car, he he tries to knock the wall down over there coming out of the turn, but he couldn't do it. He's able to continue a 16 car, Jason Ferguson in third. Even has it well in hand up there. In complete control of this last chance consolation. They've spread out a bit now. Who's in fourth? The 19. Jessup Schleis. And I am puzzling over the black stripes on the car. They actually cover the number on the top. How does that work? Okay, looks like the race is over. Watching the leader, watching the leader. Here we go. Hard to stay low in that turn. This one's a little slick now, too. It's going to survive here. Car number 11. Any decent finish would be great.
Okay. Maybe we can settle down and spread out just a bit. Even if you can find a better line, passing will be next to impossible, I believe, as has already been demonstrated. Top is definitely good in one and two as far as I can tell. I don't think there's anything in the middle of the bottom. Now there might be a little something a little lower like the middle on this end. And I don't know if a cut down does any good. do that again. I don't like hitting the wall too much. Now, I think it is possible to run just a little lower in time for It felt pretty good. Four car smacked the wall. Keeps going. I don't think I'll be able to hold this. Too slick on this end to hold it. Can't hold it, I don't believe it.
think we're going to go with the top on this end and the middle to low middle on this end, huh? Two laps to go, hang in there. Be super careful in one and two for sure. Working the last lap, here we go. And that's a race, seventh place. No complaints, really. A little rough at the beginning. Ticket flag, ticket flag. Not sure, maybe some of it was my fault, I don't know. As always, we'll look at the incidents and replays. Here we go. Let's see what we got. 15 gets turned, Matthew Lever. And he's upside down. That's the wall, does a little Tommy tip over. Well, there's a little more than a Tommy tip over. Not a violent crash, but not a fun one. Or maybe it was, I don't know. Nine cars a little sideways. This is lap 17, the nine is around. Well, look at the beginning. Here we go. Touch the two a little, very light. Trapped on the bottom, can't get around. It's not a good place to be at that point. Not bad in three and four, but one and two was just too slick to hold on on the bottom. Had to lift up and let the seven go. Again, I get the inside look on the seven, but inside just isn't there. Get the little tap from the five. That one might have been my fault. I did stay a little high, but well, I wanted to stay high in that turn, but it just wasn't room. The four wasn't going to allow it. Now the four is beating on me. Okay, racing stuff really. Let's get on with the incidents. The five and the ten come together. Everybody hangs on. Lap 12, the 15's going around. This is where he flips over. Well, starts scraping the wall, and that hurts him. Six is going out. The 19's going out. Six is parked down there. I don't know what's going on with that. Results time. Results time. Let's see. And here, and we've got a plus 29 up to 23.31. Plus 0.02, besides, uh, plus 0.02, despite some beating in vain, just a 2x in the race. It's street stocks. You kind of got to expect it a little bit at least.
I'll see you in the next video.